Botswana's thriving capital Gaborone belies the fact that 70% of the country on South Africa's northern border is covered by the Kalahari Desert. It's one of Africa's fastest growing economies with considerable mineral wealth. They might also have discovered further valuable gems in the surprising interest in women's football here. And they're already winning the cultural battle. I think there's, there's much more an acceptance now that yes, girls can play uh, football like, like boys and, and ought to be allowed to do that. I think they are beginning to recognize that it is another type of football and it is one that perhaps can get us to international events perhaps much sooner than the, the men's football can do. Nestled in the shadow of Botswana's national stadium in Gaborone, the Botswana FA headquarters, built with the assistance of the FIFA Goal project, is the focal point of the country's emphasis on development. This was where they held an integrated programme covering a variety of aspects of the women's game. Refereeing, of course, was part of that. Good football has good refereeing, good administration, good coaching. I mean, it's not one, you don't have only good players and nothing else to support it. I think it's really important. And the coaching should cater for all levels. To this end, the BFA held their second FIFA coaching course at the same time. This used the most experienced African instructors from South Africa and Namibia. Among them, the former Namibian national team captain. I think the most important thing that we have been learning is uh, how to organize mass participation because that is what they are faced with. They go back to the, to the regions and the villages and they are faced with 40 kids coming to them just because, you know, they attended a FIFA coaching course. The course culminated in the referees and coaches getting hands-on experience at a girls' soccer festival. The teams themselves were from the under-13 and under-15 age groups, representing some of Botswana's numerous regions. For many, just coming to Gaborone from the remoter outlying areas was a unique experience. Winning made it even better. <laughs> Number 10, Jeanette Daniel was declared player of the tournament. And as the women's game searches for a new generation of role models, perhaps they've found one. I don't know whether um, because I'm working for the association, I'm biased, but uh, I think uh, the, the, the changes and the developments that I have seen so far are just unbelievable. So at the rate at which we are going, I think we are destined for greater things in future.